In this lesson, we're going to talk about some resources that are available to you for Mono development, but more specifically, Mono for Android development. Mono doesn't actually have a ton of resources in itself, but the good news is it's a thin enough wrapper on Android that you can really look at Android documents and Android samples and be able to figure things out pretty well because Mono is basically the same stuff but you have to change case on uh, some variables and method names here and there. So for Mono, the main site, of course, is the Zamarin site. And then there's an API link there, and also a guide area that includes some sample apps and some tutorials and some things to get you going. On the Android side, there's the Android developer site, which has a wealth of information about the API and also a ton of samples as well. There are some other resources you might be interested in. I've actually found Stack Overflow to be extremely helpful when querying for problems about Android. There's a ton of information there. There's a lot of people who have already run into problems that you may be having and have solved them. Code Project is also an interesting site. It also, like Stack Overflow, is not specific to Android or certainly not for Mono for Android, but it also has a few articles on Android and a few on Mono for Android, and they tend to be more complete samples and perhaps a little bit more useful and get in some details that a regular sample might not. We haven't talked a lot about styling in this course, but I found a blog styling Android to be interesting and useful, and also on the Android developer site, there are downloads for all of the images and icons that are standard for Android development, for particularly for the Holo themes that are new in 3.1. So those are some resources that you can use. And of course, as always, Google is your friend.